Today marks a big moment in American history. It was April 4th, 1968, the day that Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was felled by an assassin's bullet in Memphis, Tennessee. We mark this day as a nation, remembering the loss of a titan of civil rights. It's also a big day in Indianapolis when we remember the city's time in that spotlight that helped shape American history. Visitors flocking to the Kennedy King Memorial Initiative's Cultural Visitor Center. Its centerpiece, the monumental sculpture of two extraordinary men linked by an extraordinary moment in American and Indianapolis history. Martin Luther King dedicated his life to love and to justice between fellow human beings. It was here 56 years ago that New York Senator Robert F. Kennedy, a brother of President John F. Kennedy, campaigning for president at the time, spoke to a crowd of unsuspecting people telling them grim news. He died in the cause of that effort. That day, uh, Robert Francis Kennedy was coming through Indianapolis on a campaign stop. Indiana State Representative Gregory Porter is chairman of the Kennedy King Memorial Initiative. They made that uh, announcement, uh, announced to the crowd. Some people knew, some did not. Some did not know if it was true or not. What are your memories of what was happening? It was a, a night that was uh, surreal as, as I reflect on it as I get older. Um, there were a lot of individuals that were there. Uh, and I feel uh, it, 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 it was a moment in time that we, we felt it was going to be forever. Some 50-something years later, why do you think this is something that still resonates here in Indianapolis? It resonates because, because number one, this. How much has really changed in 56 years? We still have divisiveness in our community. We still have prejudice. We still have... Uh, people who don't like individuals. The Kennedy King Memorial Initiative created to preserve the memory of that moment, of two men linked by the fundamental belief of equality and of freedom and by tragedy. It was just two months after Robert F. Kennedy's speech that night that he, too, was assassinated in Los Angeles. We had to continue to talk about uh, uh, love over hate, uh, unity, no, no more divisiveness in our country. And this is what we want our young people to, to understand. Thank you very much. Solemn moment indeed. The Kennedy King Memorial Initiative is marking the occasion with a commemorative event full of speeches and deep reflections on the progress that still needs to be made. That kicked off this evening. This year's theme is Still We Reach, Together We Can. Memorial